we figured out how to do CAM for the Tormach CNC lathe, folks. Super exciting. Let's walk through a quick tutorial. We're going to whip up part in SolidWorks, do it in uh, the CAM and Sprut CAM, and then machine it on the Tormach CNC lathe. Welcome to Wednesday widget number 44. File new. Create a sketch on the front plane. Drag a line over. Double click to get rid of it, but keep on the tool. Click down, click over. Now hit the S key on the keyboard, move to the smart dimension. That's going to be two inches. This is going to be 0 0.35, and this is going to be 1.375. Now go to the three point arc tool. If you don't see that, you can click the drop down menu. Click one, two, oops, click one, two, three, and then hit the S key, smart dimension. I'm going to type that as one inch. And what else do I need? Make sure that says 1.375. We are fully defined. The more I get into it, the more I realize that actually is important so your model doesn't move on you. Now we need to add this a recess right here. So we're going to go back to the line tool and just go ahead and create something right here. And then what we'll do is actually go to the trim entities. We're going to trim that away. Hit the S key, smart dimension, 0 0.1, 0 0.42, and this is 0 0.075. Again, we're still fully defined. Features, revolve, boss, axis of revolution, this one, click that plus check mark. Boom, how awesome is that, folks? There is our part. Export to Sprout Cam 9. We just need to move the model. So we will transform to locate zero, max, min, min. Okay, perfect. So you see how the part is um, this orientation. We've got the 15L slant pro lathe selected. We're going to do workpiece primitive cylinder around the part along the X. Uncheck this stupid same box. I don't know why they have that defaulted. Outer radial means how much more material. So this is a 0.7 inch diameter part. We're going to start with 3 quarters inch stock. So let's do the math. 0.75 minus 0.7 is that divided by 2. 0.025. 0 0.025. And we'll add a little bit. Positive radial means stuff material in the front. We'll add 0 0.5 inches. Click OK. Boom. Now you can see like so. So let's first face off the material. New, lathe, lathe facing. Double click our tool. For me, this is tool number seven. And I'm going to do 400 service feet a minute. I'm going to max out at 2,500. And I'm going to change the cut feed to 10 thou per rev. Now, this tool happened to be the correct one for the insert that I'm using. And actually, let me pull that insert up. It is this guy right here, CCGT. All the specs are there, 80 degree rhombus, blah, blah, blah. You want to, you know, I don't have a strong opinion yet on, actually, here we go, type C, 80 degree rhombus. So it's pretty close. This is meant to get people started, which is where I'm at. I'm just getting started on this. You need to make sure you check for, you know, collisions and crashes. And I would dry run this. I certainly did. Um, so tool geometry does matter, I think, in some situations if you're back cutting and so forth. But for now, I don't want to get hung up on it. I want to make a part. So, okay, click OK. And good, we've got our G code, our toolpath shown there. Now we are going to go to lathe contouring, contouring. Same tool, 7, 7. Feeds and speeds, 400, 2,500. Same thing, 0, 0, 1. And all I want to do is change the finish cut feed to be a little bit slower, so I'll do 50%. OK. Now we need to select the geometry. So under the work job assignment here, hold, click the first front of the, th the part, hold down the control key on the keyboard, select this part, that, 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 and that. And then we'll click actually roughing cycle. And boom, 
There's our code. I want to do two things to it though. I don't want it to cut inside of here. So I can right click on this line and choose D feature. Boom, that gets rid of that. And then I actually want to have the cutter run a little bit past the part. So I'm going to do that. Um, I've had a hard time dragging the little flag here, not having it move the diameter. So I'm just going to do it this way, zero degree, excuse me. And back here, reset run, boom, okay. Next up, we are going to do this groove here. So lathe grooving. Now this is tool for me number three. It's a Shars um, 0.087 smaller groove part tool. We're going to do 250 and 1500. It'll take it a little bit easier uh, with this grooving tool. 0 0.01 and let's see here. We are going to do this as a roughing pass. So we'll leave 10 thou radial, 10 thou axial stock and rough only, oops. And I think that's all I need. And now what you just have to do, delete, delete the uh, job assignment current part. And instead select this face, hold down the control key on the keyboard, this face and that face, turn, run, boom. The, the tool references off the front edge. That's why you see it comes all the way up to this shoulder. But right here, the last pass, the tool will be covering such that it goes back to that point as well. Now I'm going to right click, copy, paste, and then this is going to be a finishing uh, op. So same thing on the tool. All I'm going to do is change the cut feed down to say 5 thou. And the other important thing is I want it to overlap. I want it to go a little bit past center so that we make sure it's hopefully a smooth part. So I can do finish overlap 0.06, click OK. And the way that works is, I actually learned this at the Tormach Lathe Workshop, which is a really good event. I'm not a lathe guy. Is that it comes down and goes over, but it can't go over and back up because you don't want to cut on the way up with a grooving tool. So it comes down, over, and then down, over. And that's what gives you that smooth uh, finish pass with the parting or grooving tool. Now I'm going to do one more thing, which is I'm going to save this tool as, actually I think I already did save it, but yeah, you type in a name and then just click the plus key. That's going to be handy because the next thing we're going to do is lathe part off. And for some reason, it defaults to this long tool here, which can give you problems. So just choose our tool we made the previous pass. And we are going to do 250, 1500. I'm going to do a much slower uh, 3,000 uh, cut per rev. And let's see here. I think that's it, except we'll we do one more thing. Um, you get a funny, well, that's funny. I didn't that time. Um, you got to uh, deselect that. I don't know why. Oh, because we duplicated it. Choose this face, hit turn. Now, yeah, so the problem is that it's going to ramp through the middle of the part. So what you do is you go over to links and leads and you change the mode to radial. And you just need to be this length to be bigger than the radius of your part. So half an inch should do it. Click run, and now you can see it's going to move over and then ramp down in. And let's do, make sure we shouldn't get a, yeah, so we should not get a, a red error. Let's um, go ahead and simulate this. Okay, facing, boom, boom. Now profiling or contouring the part. How cool is this, folks? This is, again, I've said it before, I'm not really a lathe guy, uh, but seeing how easy this is, man, we've got some stuff we're going to make on this thing. Uh, I also want to switch to doing this in Fusion 360, which doesn't have lathe cam yet, but also HSM works, which I'm learning. The, the, we'll actually do a little preview at the end of this video. I just don't have a post for it yet, but that'll be great. It's just CNC lathes are awesome because the fixturing is usually a lot easier than on the mill. The tool setup actually can be a little bit harder, which is ironic, but uh, this is going to be fun. Okay, so speed this up here. I got to figure out why to, how to do that. Now here's the grooving. So like so, leaving some stock, which is good. Now here's that op I was going to tell you about where it's going to come down. Yeah, hold on. There it goes. Down and over, and then down and over. 
And I forgot, I'm glad we simulated that. We gotta fix that. I forgot to turn off the axial and radial. Now let's try that again. Wrap it up to that, hit play. Should now clean that up. There we go. And down and over. And then last but not least, Party off. Let's go make some chips. All right, here we go, folks. Running it without coolant, just because I think it's going to make the video a lot better. We'll see if it uh, affects service finish at all. I don't think so. I'm a little nervous when we part, as uh, <laughs> cutting fluid is really helpful when you're parting off. But this Tormach lathe has been a beast at parting. I, I, that's probably the thing I've been most blown away about. I, I know it sounds silly, but having a lot of experience partying on a manual lathe, that's just blown away. Um, so here we go. <laughs> you guys see how, this is amazing how fast it is. Roughed it out, now it's taking that finish pass, which I think is only five foul per rev. A Little bit of bird's nest here, no big deal. And that should be it now. We should see a tool change. Come in for the grooving. I love this. I'm guessing some of you are going to guess what this part is for. I posted a picture on uh, Instagram and Facebook and somebody actually already guessed it, but I'm going to uh, save that for the next video. We're going to actually do a lot more to this part in the mill, which should be pretty cool. And then um, in that video, we'll talk about where she's going. Okay. And now to part of how I slowed this down a bunch. And I got to work on that because it shouldn't be going this slow right now. But I just wanted to not ruin my insert, parting insert. Oh, that looks... Sounds okay. Yeah, look at that. All right, let's uh, wait till she finishes here and take a look. <laughs> take a look, folks. Awesome. I've always uh, had a little nub on my parting tool. I still got to work on that. And I chamfered just a hair too far, uh, parted off just a hair too far back. Got to fix that. But holy smokes, folks, how easy is that? Um, awesome. Look, awesome. So more to come. If you want to see the same part in Fusion 360 and then HSM works, click here. We're going to do a video tutorial on that as well. I don't have a post yet, though, so we can't post it in that. We'll fix that soon though. Lots more good stuff to come folks, especially on this little project. As always, I appreciate the thumbs up, the comments, the likes, the shares. Take care. See you next Wednesday.